guys. <laughs> Greeting from Ukraine. I would like to remind you that I am Irina. I am a, a tour guide. In the time of coronavirus, I started to be blogger, <laughs> and uh, now I provide a historical video about Ukrainian history on the YouTube channel and also in Facebook. So thank you for watching me. Uh, last time I started a series of videos about Kiev history. We were talking about princes, about uh, Kiev foundation. I would like to remind you that Kiev was found about uh, the 5th century AD, uh, about 1500 years ago. <clears throat> but of course, in Kiev, in that time, there lived not only princes, but there lived the simple craftsmen. And this video is dedicated to them. Here uh, on the picture you can see part of Andrew Descent. Uh, Andrew Descent, this is um, a special historical places. This is a special street. Uh, uh, there are now is souvenir markets. You can go there and buy uh, any souvenir from Ukraine. I recommend you to go there because it's well known about among uh, tourists. So, in that time, in Kiev Rus time, more than 1,000 years ago, there also was market. Ordinary people, craftsmen, merchants, uh, businessmen, they came there to sell their good, to offer their good to the prince family, to the noble people. Where these people lived? I uh, would like to tell you that uh, uh, among them were there were and potteries and jewelry uh, so they can offer different products so here you can see key model <laughs> the model of the ancient key as uh, I told you Kiev stay on the hills exactly on the hills there are lived princes but nearby Dnipro river uh, there was a so-called downtown and there lived simple people, <laughs> craftsmen. Mm. Uh, so such uh, was Kiev in the old uh, time. Uh, you can see here one of uh, the street of the ancient Podol. It's called Voloska. It, and according to the legend, its name came from the pagan god uh, Volos or Veles. Veles was a god of um, this one, <laughs> the man with the bull, <laughs> uh, bull's uh, image. Uh, he was traditional Slavic god, uh, Slav's god. Uh, I told you that Slavic people mostly lived in the forest and uh, they pray to different forest gods. Uh, Veles was uh, one of the uh, best uh, one of the Slavic gods. Uh, according to the story, he patronized uh, cattle. In the old time, along this street, there are um, uh, uh, there was the big um, swath of the grassland, uh, and there lived cattlemen. They had their cows. They grazed, grazed their cows. They grazed their sheep. <laughs> By the way, even uh, now uh, nearby Kiev, you can uh, you can find uh, such kind of area uh, with grassland. Uh, one of them is in the south of in the southwest of Kiev. Uh, sometimes uh, I with my friend provide hiking there, so you can see there are beautiful uh, riverside uh, hills. Uh, till now there was a uh, cows. For instance, we had uh, a couple from uh, Lithuania and uh, now they are watching cow. <laughs> mm, this cow belonged to a man from uh, the village and sometimes he treated us with uh, milk. Uh, we continue. This is my assistant, Marianne. <coughs> Marian, say hello. Oh, oh. Uh, I would like to tell that uh, for a long time Podol uh, wasn't excavated archaeologically. 
and here you can see archaeological excavation. Uh, probably because archaeologists were more interested in the upper town and the prince palaces in the rich sites and didn't uh, take attention to according to that time history poor people uh, but um, Today, archaeologists found out that uh, there are in Podol lived about 50,000 people. Yes, Marian? Yes. So many people. Uh, another reason why I, um, this district uh, wasn't uh, excavated for so long time, uh, archaeology is uh, a poor, field, uh, poor f um, finance field in Ukraine. There are not enough money uh, so I would like to tell you interesting story about uh, archaeological digging of this site. <clears throat> In 2000, uh, 20 years ago, a uh, Kiev administration decided to reconstruct uh, one of the Kiev church. This one. Uh, it was ruined in the time of Soviet regime in uh, 1933. In total, uh, there were ruined 50 churches over the key, 50 monk by the Soviet power. One day, police visited archaeologists uh, in Podol area and they bring them real skulls like this. And they ask them, guys, uh, do these skulls uh, um, ancient or they are fresh just nowadays? I told you ask, uh, where did you find them? Uh, police told that uh, kids play on the playground near and nearby garbage can they found these skulls. According to them, uh, the truck came there and uh, bring, brought the skulls to, uh, to the camp. So, police found this uh, uh, this What's driver and this ah. <laughs> assistant go <laughs> and they found out that this driver worked for construction of the one the Podol church. So no builders, no priests uh, take took care about uh, archaeological uh, evidence. So the building work was stopped, and archaeologists started their job. They found there are the big uh, ancient graveyard. They found there are about eighty skeletons. They found that people lived there in different period, in the 13th, in the 15th, in the 16th century. They found there are the ancient well. This well supplied the water over the Podol district. Come back. <laughs> Here you can see another archaeological objects of Podol area. This is new building. It was built just 20 years ago mm, as a comfort building, a new building, yes, for Kiev citizen. And underground, uh, when uh, uh, builders make their work, they found an um, archaeological site. District, uh, in the old time, there lived the uh, Jewelry craftsman, the ma man who made different uh, interesting jewelry stuff. For instance, here you can see amber, part of amber. Probably he did uh, jewelry for prince daughter with this uh, beautiful amber jewelry. Uh, interesting story is uh, Eastern egg. This is ceramic egg, uh, painted egg, uh, and as we see even in the early Christian time, when Christianity just came to our land, uh, we used the uh, Eastern egg. Mm -hmm. The most interesting finding is uh, Scandinavian game. Uh, yes, this is uh, ancient chess. Uh, they were probably used by Vikings, and they moved them to Rus as well, to Kiev as well, and local people play by this uh, this chest. Another interesting object was found nearby Dnipro River. 
one businessman wanted to make their shopping mall, but when um, they started um, digging there, they found the ancient uh, ancient stuff, some part of the ancient street, ancient buildings, uh, houses, and the uh, archaeologists uh, learned this um, area. They found that uh, in the ancient time there was a river port. Actually, till now there is a river port. And according to historical evidence, uh, this is, was the big port. And uh, in that time you can see there are ships from Scandinavia, from uh, England, from Italy. They supply different goods to Kiev, uh, to Kiev Rus. And now the city administration would like to make an um, archaeological center there. This is uh, the model of the archaeological center. It sh have to be under the um, shopping mall. So probably in some year, if you go to Kiev, you can see this uh, attractive uh, archaeological site under, under in Podol area. Uh, I would like also um, you to go, if you go to Poshtova Ploshia, you can find there a uh, touristic boat and you can take a ride along the Dnipro River and have a nice time there. For now, this is uh, the end. Marianne, what would you like to tell more? Mm. Say, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Yes. <laughs> so, bye-bye till uh, for bye -bye. now. And have a, have a nice weekend.